Hello, and I'm Scott from ABSI Telecom, and today we're going to install the Panasonic TA824 programming software. If you don't have this software yet, you can obtain it from the link down below. Let's start. Here's the software that I just downloaded. It's all zipped up, and I'm just going to click on it. There's the software, and I'm going to click on it. And uh, look, you can't install it, right? Not really. Just click on the more information, and then you get the run in anyway button. Here we're going to hit OK, or yes, next. Accept the terms and conditions of the software, of course. Here I'm going to type in uh, my name, Scott, and my company name, ABSI. Going to hit next. That folder is perfectly fine to install the file in. Yep, that's okay. Uh, those all look good. So it's installing the file. This um, programming code is to um, keep people who are unauthorized from opening the software. So just create a password here. You can install, uh, type it in twice. Just remember what you used. And uh, the next part is, is we're going to copy the USB drivers to the desktop. So we're going to say yes. We're going to select desktop. I'm going to hit OK. Hey, and that's it. OK, now that we've got the software installed, let's install the driver so we can talk to the phone system. First thing we need to do is turn on the TA824 phone system, find a USB cable, plug the Panasonic phone system into an open USB cable on this computer. OK, you've done that, right? All right, so let's go to the control panel. To get the control panel, I'm just going to go in the search window and type in control and I start writing in and there it is and hit enter all right um, find system and then inside a system we find device manager inside device manager you will see uh, Panasonic communication systems and um, a little triangle next to it it's going to be standing out from everything else because the driver is missing I don't have that plugged in here, so I'm going to simulate that this communication port is the same as your Panasonic communication system that needs a driver. Okay, We're going to right-click on that device. We're going to update the driver. And we're going to browse my computer for driver software, this one right here. All right. Then we're going to specify where to browse. And we're going to find the desktop, Windows 7, and then select the 64-bit folder. Okay. Even if you have Windows 10, go ahead and select the Windows 7, and then the 64-bit if you got 64-bit, or 32-bit if you got 32-bit. Use 64-bit. We all got 64-bit computers today. All right. Hit next. Now, on your computer, you your driver would have just installed, and you would have heard a ding-ding from your computer, and uh, your device would now be installed. And that would conclude the um, installation of the USB driver. Now that we've got the driver installed, let's try to connect to the phone system. So we're going to click on Maintenance Console. This is the password I asked you to type in twice before, okay? So I'm going to type in my password here. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to go up here to connect and then hit connect again. Enter in system password. This is the PBX password, all right? Hopefully you know what the password is. If you don't, let's try the default. And that default password is 1, 2, 3, 4, okay? And we're going to be using that USB cable because that's what we got plugged in. I'm going to hit OK. Um, if your system and everything work great, you're going to see this, right? This is what, what you see when you get connected. All these programming um, parameters on the left-hand side. And you can click on any one of them. 
and uh, change them if you want. Um, so that concludes this video. Hey, if you like this video, uh, give me a thumbs up and uh, hope you have a great day.